<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Valhalla. My name is Weasel, and we're back in our barn. This guy was a big gut punch. Fast. All right, let's punch him. Uh, wait, it's a drink. Right, we're going to mix drinks for him. Uh, I'm going to need my smart manual. Um, all right, uh, all right. He wants a gut punch. I want to give him a gut punch. All right. Ah, uh, where is that gut punch? Okay, it's five. He didn't say big, so I'm just gonna assume he wants a regular uh, Bronson extract. He wants a regular uh, optional commentary. I guess I'm gonna give him one commentary. Uh, let's do two aged and a mixed. Okay, bitter, manly, strong. Well, good for him. He's enjoying it. Here, hmm, you can actually do it then. W what have you thought? <laughs> this crack house is a bar. Come on. Is it that bad? Oh, crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I didn't say anything about that. I'm surprised you decided to come into our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? Well, I mean, I can't know. The payment registry says. Sorry for the question then, mister. Ingram McDougal. Dougal? Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Well, we take a while to clean. Please, let me know what I can do to make your experiences more pleasant regardless. Man, I'm so friendly. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours? No. Wow. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Wow, such pleasant clientele tonight. Uh, definitely. May I ask why you decide to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended me this place and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all, and I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular? Can I ask who? No. Hmm. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. I gotta agree with it. The music is fantastic. I'm, I'm gonna wholeheartedly agree with that. It's really good. Uh, hey, Jill. Where did you put the dish soap? Jill's run out. Below the sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide to the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slam this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. By one. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard of before. Well, you live and you learn, I guess. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see someone do like... Once you see something like that, it's heartening to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved class 5 weaponry, the other one a pickup artist and the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Interesting. Yeah, my, my question. Not really an alpaca, but... There's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Mm, give me a pile driver, please. Please, there's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. All right, a pile driver. That should be fairly straightforward. Ah, uh, pile driver. All right, three Bronson Extract, three Flanger Guide, and one, two, three, four. Cometry, all mixed. Okay, nothing else. I got that. All right, fantastic. Come on, oh, stop. Good, not too much. Here you go. Mm, it's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? Uh, okay. I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not going to answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere of people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time, lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for that moment the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. <laughs> Doesn't that mean you've really faked orgasms? 
because you look like you have a lot of experience. <clears throat> Still, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have your perps lying about something right now. Not really, I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <sighs> of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Wow, already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a Fringe Weaver. Okay, Fringe Weaver. That's an interesting name. Let's see what that one is. One Adelheid and nine Karma Train. All aged in mix. It's like drinking ethyl alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. One, two, three, four. I mean, I can just, uh, here you go. Mix that one up and, oh, stop. Fail, I, I gotta do it again. Bummer, okay, reset. I forgot to age that one. Obviously. You could have just did Cometrine at that point. Why Why do you even bother mixing anything else in? Here you go. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey, lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like, like hungry? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Oh, that's deep. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel there's a part of myself that likes something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative, which is... Bitches and alcohol. <laughs> I, tricked, <laughs> I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STD, so I left midway through. I once burnt my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. Also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. Okay. Nothing seems to do it. Um, Have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't fuck puppies. Oh, Jesus. At least you shouldn't. I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me or to believe me. Huh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. Keep a lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. The smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Boss, I'm gonna take my break. That's That sounds good. Alright, I guess that was our first game. Our first... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna save real quick while I'm at it. Hey, right, there, there you go. Alright. Boom. It is now safe to keep playing. Oh, wonderful. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Oh. Are we gonna? Oh, add songs. I, I'm, I'm good. I like, I like the song list. I don't see a reason to change that. Okay then, back in action. Good evening. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do a robot voice. Good even. Uh, um, would you mind taking your helmet off? Ow, so oh, it's not a robot. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable. I actually forgot I have it on. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get for you, Miss? Master Specialist, Sai P. Azagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Wait, that's too long. Just just call me Sai. Sai, Sai, Sai. What can I do for you, Sai? Sai? Sai. Let's go with Sai. Let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice too. Um, not cool as in great, especially not in as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow and can't afford a hangover. Um, sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a second. All right, chill. Do it. Some small, sweet, and speed. Small, sweet, and icy. Uh, okay, flavor. Sweet. Okay, let's go through that. Sweet, girly, happy. Uh, it's not icy. On the rocks and blended. That sounds good. And it's soft. Okay, two Adelheid. Uh, two Bronson extract. Ooh. Let's um, add some Comatrine. I guess she she wants that uh, on the rocks and blend it. Okay, so we gotta have to shake it just for more than five seconds. All right, there you go. Here you are. Um, didn't you have anything sweet? I thought I was sweet. Although I guess my idea of sweet could be different from yours. Never mind, this works fine too. We don't get many white knights as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with rides and such? Riots? Oh, no, 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 no. You're thinking the Blitzkrieg Corps. The ones with huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. N no, we're different people. I mean, obviously, we're different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attacks. 
We are the light of hope in the darkest of times, the ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, it's sort of our pledge to allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You, you mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kind of a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I get to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building. I looked down and I was blown away by how pretty a city was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. The lights and scattered piece of glass, it was almost dreamlike. And uh, that, that's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but uh, never mind. Wait, did you mishear it actually meant sighs? Because, I mean, sure, I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrating sighs from people after everything's said and done, but don't worry, you, you didn't mishear. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't, don't, don't worry about it. You finished your drink? Can you get anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Mm, don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Okay, a classy drink. Um, oh, classy drinks. Bad touch. Um, on the rocks unmixed. Bubbly, classic, vintage, classic. Sweet, classy, happy. That sounds good. I, I can do that. Six Adelheid. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, three power Delta. She doesn't want a big one, but I think that is already a big one. It has a ten. Uh, yeah, that's a big one already, isn't it? That is kind of already. Bubbly, classy, strong. Ah, damn it. That's ten. Anything else that classy? That, that, that works as classy. Sour, classy, burning. One, two... Yeah, that's that's also ten. Bummer. Sweet, girly, happy. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll do it anyways. Uh, I think it's just being mixed, right? Damn it. It's a fail. Ah, I screwed it up. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna figure out something. No problem. Um, Alright. Classy. Classy. Classy drinks. Mercury Blast. How about that? Nope. How about Fringe Weaver? Damn it, that, that was the thing that I was mixing. Oh, it had to be aged. You know what? That's ah, strong. You know what? Sure, let's let's give her a strong drink. Make let's make let's make her drunk. Good plan. Actually, just fill this all up to the brim. Uh, also age it and then mix it. Very nice. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Ooh. She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She's like these kinds of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. You, that's that's basically just cometrine. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name, and now I want to know yours. Oh, sure, just call me Jill. Jill, hmm, Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian, Julianne. Do not call me Julianne, please. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on that. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about in, uh, angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angering nice people. If that helps somehow, I really like this place. Oh, that's... That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and... <laughs> the smell of dog urine and soap. <laughs> oh, that's a cool track. Yeah, I'm digging this. My mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. <clears throat> what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it mostly because something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me, 
when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next, I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since, I felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same what way they helped me. Huh, it's interesting though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me, so I kind of guide myself toward judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same too, but why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that's what I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is a too broad a term. There's not one specific type, there are many different classes. Rescue, assault, there's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask them because they speed up processes. But the few are signed when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. Oh, that's cool. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? No, oh, I don't know if I should, I can't afford that many drinks, and besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Yep, I'm gonna stop here today. Thanks for the chat, Jill. Sure, no problem. Bye. Come again. Will do. That was nice. Wait, you forgot your helmet. She's gone. Whoa! Jill, did the ammonia make you go nuts? It was this time in Zanzibar when that almost happened. In any case, I'll go check that noise. What? Oh, she woke up. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. <laughs> Valhalla? Am I dead? Does that mean my Uncle Inga's ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar, true? Called it... Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how deaf or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Alright, then where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? Or what were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries, otherwise you'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists! The whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, have your horrible way with me, and then brutally murder me, don't you? All while still violating every hole in my body as I lay there twitching, don't you? Murder, 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 murder! <sighs> Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down or throw at her face. Alright, by type. Uh, how about... Uh, something strong by flavor. Nope. Let's... Oh, bottle drinks. A fedora with perfume and a plum. Hmm. Alright, classic drinks. Um, Bleeding Jane. Ah, oh, that sounds good. Say I have a drink three times in front of a mirror and you'll look like a fool. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Bronson extract. Three powered... Delta. Oh, actually, you know what? I need some with Cometrine. Bloomlight. That sounds cool. Let's do that. All right. One, two, three, four. Edelheide. Powder Delta. Lenergide. And one, two, three Cometrine. Uh, all aged. On the rocks. And mixed. Got it covered. Sweet. All right. W w what is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bar serves drinks. A, a bar? So, I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down? What did you spice it with? Rufies? TTX? Pumpkins? Uh, pumpkins? How, how do pumpkins work? I'm, I'm, I'm confused by that. God, no, I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes me suspicious, you know? If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay and tips. Not to mention I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I couldn't could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all of this is just... Ugh. Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. 
They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Mm. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why I was so noisy. Any damage? A uh, hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet's paper locker? What, what about... Oh my god! <laughs> How? Why? How? I'm back. He tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem, then. Try it on the drink. It says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Good point, but first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss. Second, we're pretty much part of a chain, sort of like spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offer to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is intended suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink or go through that door and forget this ever happened. That would be it. Your peace and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of attention will yield no difference? Uh, and what about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I... Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant and that your work does matter. I'm um, sure you should drink it all so fast. So, how was it? Hmm... It was fine, but not something I'd order normally. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have probably reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on a street stripped of clothes, dignity and or organs. I agree. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what. Your drinks are in the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you on on your offer. I'll have a piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up. All right, you don't even see a woman asking for a piano man. Why, is that a manly drink or so? Girly drink? Nope. It's a classy one? Nope. Promo drink? All right, piano woman. Oh, wait, piano man. Oh, wow, yeah, that looks strong. Okay, two Adelaide, three Bronson extract, five powder delta. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And three comma train. Um, on the I uh, have rocks and mixed. Okay, I can do that. This drink does not represent the opinions of the bar pianist union or its associates. Sour promo strong. This looks very fancy. I like it. Jill here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempt to kill me. What? Why wouldn't a pianist attempt to kill you? What did he do? Your dad? I mean, to provoke the Pianist like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in the bar when suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his mats and that my dad looked like some music critic that had bashed him. I mean, that probably would make someone angry enough, I guess. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. That jazz makes you, makes you all bananas. I see. The piano man has an interesting story. Uh, it was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend uh, of his that had just died. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors said friend liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So, this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, work miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Oh, is it a newspaper? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? Oh! Haha! -ha. Yeah, it might have. I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelt his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So, you believe me? I do. Good. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. 
can be so forceful about the things he wants to that people have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. And would you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. Kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate this guts. Ugh. Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Ugh. Why are you working there, then? Did it, I ask something I shouldn't have? No, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point I thought about being a bartender. But I was afraid they make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know. I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometimes and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask me for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One brandini, please. Come right up. A brand, sorry, a mart, a brandini. Yeah, that, okay. B, a brandini, okay. That's not too hard. I'm gonna throw some of that in, a little bit of that, and one of these, all aged and mixed. Eight out of 10 smug assholes would recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. <laughs> the writing is excellent. Here, yep, that seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey, Jill, was this job like a lifelong dream or something? Not really, it just kinda happened. One thing led to another and bam, bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? And the only dream I can't remember being passionate about was being a model warrior Julianne, a cart machine. Buying, not being. My bad. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really, I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. Oh, childish dreams, yeah. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. <laughs> so, no dreams? None that I feel particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. That's nice. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess, I'm not gonna forget that anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm, I'm gonna leave early, I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. Sure. Um, who was he? A ghost, nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that. Why were you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. <clears throat> Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is don't worry about it too much. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm gonna make my, take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank you boss on my behalf. Bye. Where's Jill and where's the girl that was here? Jill cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks, and left. So, she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger, just out of habit. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you're finished washing the glasses. Let me transfer you to today's payment. Maybe I'll give Jill a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. All right, perfect. Here are the results for the day. Total earnings. 
Drinks total, mistakes, commission, today's payment, tips, flawless service bonus, and here's an extra for helping that girl calm down. That's nice. Look at that. I made plenty of cash monies. All right, I think that concludes it for this episode. Uh, we're going to continue with the next episode uh, or the next day in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out and hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.